Right guys, so we put a little vote out in the community tab. I had a little wall to do, and I said we can either have me skim the wall with loads of accelerator in it and see how fast we can skim one wall, like, you know, if we can get it done in half an hour, completely finished, or if we'd like to let the apprentice loose, Kieran, and have him skim his first wall completely unsupervised and just let him get on with it. Um, with sort of no input from me. And surprisingly, or surprisingly not, 99% of people said they want to see how Kieran plastered a wall. So then I started <laughs> thinking this could be the end of my career now. <laughs> but anyway, we learned two things. Anyway, he's done the wall and we'll see. It got a little bit stressful at points, but you know, that's how it goes when you do your first job and no one's there to save you. It does get a little bit hot under the collar, but we learned two things. Number one, never work with kids and animals. Number two, Kieran is far better at holding the camera and filming than what I am. We had a little lad, Archie, lovely little lad waiting for us. He'd been looking forward to us coming all day. The plaster was coming to plaster his bedroom wall and he had all his tools out. He had his work boots on and he just wanted to get stuck in. So... I mean, he's a fantastic little guy, and you'll hear him in the video because we couldn't get him to be quiet. So we we're like, Archie, shh, no chance, no chance. <laughs> I think his mum would give him five tubes of Smarties before we turned up. But anyway, let's get into the video and see what happened. Right, so the vote was in before. We want to see Kieran do a wall, so we've got a little helper with us as well. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> He's, he's dying the lad. <laughs> What's your name? Archie Mama. Archie, and we're going to watch Kieran do this wall, aren't we? <laughs> Let's see if we can spin it. Double star. Right, here we are. Sanded wall, the doorway blocked up. Kieran, have we sealed it? Yeah. SBR. SBR. Joints taped up. Go. Right, we're set. Kieran's taken all the joints. He's put SBR on the wall. He's got his finish ready. Water bucket's ready. Help us here. Archie, he's supervising us, making sure Kieran does a proper job of his bedroom wall. Now, it's worth noting at this point, I haven't intervened at all. I haven't told Kieran how much he needs to mix up or anything. I've just said, you do it, mate. You get it sorted. So, Kieran's mixing what he thinks is going to be the right amount. I would say, for the size of that wall, one bag is far too much. But I didn't want to interfere. Hi, right, Kieran. What are you doing? Talk us through what you're doing, lad. What are you yeah, going to do restart, first? Restart, restart. No, no. I'll edit it out. <laughs> Come on, I'll just cut in and edit it. Just, what are you doing first, Kieran? Filling out where the board is connected into the old plaster. You're buffing the scrims in. You're wasting my wall, you are. He's going to make it nice, Archie. So don't worry. Out where the existing and the new board has uh, been put in. I'm filling where the scrims are. Now you can see me just zooming in on where he's dropped the little blob already. <laughs> Now, ideally, when there's a little tiny step in the board between the, like a little difference between the board and the original wall where the doorway's been blocked up, you want to build that out with some real thick stuff first. So I would have mixed up a little quarter of a bucket of nice, thick finish, like really thick, and, and blocked it all out first and then skimmed over it. But we just left Kevin to carry on. You know, we just thought, we'll just see how he gets on. So top left, get your corner in nice. Same process as good. 
just a little bit more messy, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What you can do is bring a nice big sweep up here as well, across, yeah? So the bulk of the plaster is on the wall, and then take a little bit from the bulk and, and go up to the ceiling line then, yeah? That's it, and then bring it down. See the level of concentration. <laughs> Trying it. So the pressure's on, you see. The pressure's on now because all you lot are watching. So he doesn't want to make any mistakes at all. <laughs> So <laughs> try and limit how much you do actually spill. It's only fifteen pound a bag these days. And fifteen pound a day. Don't tell them how much you're earning. <laughs> fifteen pound a day. Never paying that much money. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell you the quick thing about Kieran, right? <clears throat> this lad messaged me on and off for over a year asking for a job. Right, so any young lads out there watching this, sort of take a blueprint from what Kieran did, right? He just harassed the life out of me. He didn't give in. He put himself in college uh, before he even come to me. He'd sorted his own college course out, and he was phoning me and messaging me himself. And I said to him, look, mate, at the time I was working with an older fella. Uh, me and him were like partners, you know. And I said, Kieran, we, we don't need him. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. We just don't need him at the minute. Anyway, he was persistent. Every couple of months, he was sending me another message, you know. And what it was, Kieran actually come to me and said, I'm in college. I don't want to get in your way. I work for free. I just want to learn from you. I just want to learn from you, Kirk. And I texted him back. I said, did, did your mum tell you to write this? Like, you know, you, you, your mum and dad. And he, and he sort of put back on the message, um, no, no, my mum sort of wants me to stay on in school, like, you know, and go to sixth form and that. But I want to be a plasterer. And my dad doesn't really, you know, I don't really see my dad like. And I thought, there's a lad who's not giving in. He's put himself in college. You know, he, he he wants to plaster. If I don't give this lad a chance, what sort of a man am I, you know? So anyway, I just said, right, get some work boots, mate. You're coming in tomorrow. And you know what? To be fair, the best thing I ever did. The lad is crackers, by the way. He drives me nuts. And loads of times, you know, he probably thinks I'm a miserable old get. But I've come home sometimes, and after a few beers, I just start laughing, thinking some of the crazy stuff he comes out with in work. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know how he ended up with me. So Kieran knows the rule for him is, until he gets neater, that after he's first coated, he's going to flatten in between coats. So after he's got this on, he'll give the wall a quick flick over and just lay any big lines down. Right, so the first coat on, and to be fair, it's not too bad. There's not that many lines in it, I and mean, it doesn't look like he's put it on a chicken's foot. It does actually look <laughs> like he's put it on a trowel. So now, Kieran, what are you doing now? I'm going to go across. You cross trowel on it. So I usually skip this step if it's on neater, but because there's a few little lines in it, we don't want it to pick up the lines, so Kieran's just going to flatten it in, and he's going to cross trowel it. He's paying attention now where the doorway was, the scrims to make sure he doesn't cause any hollows and making sure the scrims stay filled out. How's the stuff feeling, mate? You got plenty of time on it, or is it picking up? Okay. And we've only dropped about a handboard's worth of stuff, to be fair, <laughs> so, so we're doing okay. Right, 
And so he's been both ways in the angles anyway, so. Right, go on, you can talk if you want to keep us on time lapse a bit now anyway. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, more on time lapse. I can the you did lift the ladder. See when you're coming down, Keith, start coming right across the wall, mate. Right. Start coming right across from left to right now. Just bring it down, like, that's it, yeah. And then step it down, all right. Don't worry, you can speak because it's what's called it, or, um, it's going to be sped up so you won't hear it anyway. Just show them you out the window, didn't you? What? You should bring it to your mind. Okay, that's because it's not straight. So I was meant to edit that bit out, but to be fair, I thought it'd be more beneficial to leave it in so you could actually hear what I was saying to him because he just threw cross traveling out the window, but I actually needed him to do it, so don't forget to go both ways over your walls. So now I'm going to flatten in where the skirts are going because um, obviously, otherwise the skirts won't be flat and the joint will hate me, so. Yeah, we don't want nothing rock and do. We said Kevin's going to make sure he's going to go across the bottom of the wall and make sure that where the skirting board goes, that there's no big bellies, nothing sticking out at the bottom. Oh. Now, what was interesting was this lad was all excited about being on camera, but now, mm. when <laughs> what's it like being filmed, Kevin? Yeah, like it. Is it nerve wracking? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm here to put on a show. He's. <laughs> <laughs> he is putting on a show, fair play to him. The wall's been flattened in. He's just checking where the skirting board's going to go, making sure there's no big bulbs of plaster around the bottoms, aren't you, mate? Yeah. And that's it now. Now, we're going to use the same stuff. He's okay. We've got half a bucket left, and we're letting this first coat pick up a little bit. And as soon as this is sort of... It's getting there now. It's getting there now. He's nearly ready for the second coat. And we want, it's only one wall, we want it to go in quite fast. So he's going to knock up the same gear, he's going to wet it up a little bit to second coat with. And then uh, we won't be hanging around for hours and hours as if we mix up some fresh plaster. Does that sound like a plan, Kieran? Yeah, and then there's time for a pint at the end. What, what do you drink, Kieran? Coke and a packet of quavers every day. <laughs> the lad doesn't drink at all, do you, mate? He's a complete nope. teetotaler. To be fair, he's a bit like a, an ambassador for me, you know that. I sort of go. Tell him when it's home time. Yeah, he keeps me on the straight and narrow. You know, I think he's uh, he's teamed up with my missus. <laughs> Both trying to keep me out of the pub. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So the first coat has been flattened in. What were we saying, Kieran? Are you happy with that? Yeah, ready for the second. Whatever. We'll let it pick up for a little bit first, aren't we? Yeah. There's a little bit of a ridge here where the, the old board joins the new so he's just going to go up rather than across and he's just going to take them up and down just get rid of any bulges and hollows then we've got this coat pick up a little bit aren't we that's it don't play with it too much mate And we are done. Let's go. Oh, I don't know, actually. How are we going to get it clean with that? How are we going to get it clean? What's that mean? How are we going to get that clean? How are you going to clean it? Oh, yeah. We'll clean it after. <laughs> right, what are you doing now, Kieran? Just priming the handboard so all the gear doesn't slip and slide. Explain to us. So if I didn't prime it, I would have took it off me on board and called for the mess, but now I've got time. Yeah, so the handboard's wet and the stuff sits straight off, doesn't it? And now yeah. you've sort of made it so there's a bit of plaster all over it, so now it's there's a bit true. of suction on it. Okay. Lovely. Top left again.
filling in all the angles with the first and second coats. Has so anyone noticed that Caitlin's pants have come off in this? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a little bit hot under the collar. The pressure's on. The heating's on. Everything's on. <laughs> Everything's on. <laughs> yeah, so his pants come off, apparently. Not too much on the handboard, because... So I'm not meant to be intervening at all, I'm meant to just be leaving him completely to his own devices. So I'm just giving him minimum, minimum input. I just don't want it to go wrong, you know. So only at points where I think it's going to drastically change the outcome have I intervened here. Other than that, he's just getting left to crack on by himself. Concentration. Ah, to put on a show after the boats. See, not only is he a good plasterer, he's also a handsome fella, aren't you? Oh, I try the yeah. best. When he was a kid, his mum had shutters on his pram, so no one had to look at him. <laughs> Come up this angle here, Kieran, for his gun. Say something for me as well. Just come up this angle on a nice. Up the stroke with your trowel right into the wall. Now, see when you're coming up, yeah? If you get any judder, just give us your trowel a second. I'll definitely clean the back of this off. But anyway, when you're coming up there, if you get judder like that, yeah, just tilt the trowel out a little bit. So only one corner's touching the wall. Stops the judder for you. Yep. Okay, mate. Roger. Roger that. Copy. Out carrying on with the rest of the wall. To be fair to Kieran, he had it all going on on this. He had a wall that he wasn't expecting to skim because he thought it would just be nice and flat, but it ended up having a doorway that had been boarded up. We didn't know. We just turned up to do the job for a joiner. He had the lady watching him. He had the lad harassing him. <laughs> he had me filming him. He had everything going on all at once. Like, to be fair to him, I think he really held up quite well under the situation. Got a good set of legs on him, Mark here. <laughs> mm. Last time I seen legs like that, they were hanging out of a nest. <laughs> doing, What's this here, Kieran? Is this fresh stuff you put on here? Yeah, it's soaking wet. I thought you put a little blob there, mate. I don't know what I see. Oh. On the show. Sorry, mate. I don't mean to get on your way. I was just wondering what that was. Right, we're going to show you a little trick because Kieran hasn't got much time to do anything. There's still powder in this bag, so we don't want to completely waste it. So you're going to chuck all that stuff on the side of it, and then by the time we've finished this wall, that'll have gone off. And we'll pick that back off the bag again and sling it. But just for now, because he hasn't got time to be running round, you're going to do it this way. Huh? Hey? No, no. Face. No. Shows your face. No, you 
flash his arm. So rather than binning the gear from the first coat, Kieran chose to knock it back up against the second coat with. But what happens then is it sets really fast. So now he's starting to feel the pressure a little bit of the stuff going off too quick. So he's got his wall on, but he's going off in the bucket. He doesn't want to ruin the bucket. He doesn't want to ruin the whisk. So I could intervene and help him out here, but I want him to sort of feel the pressure a little bit. What we're doing, Keith, wet trowel. Wet trowel, And you're brushing it at the top rather than flicking water, aren't you? Yeah, because it's a carpet stain. Don't want to be flicking skim water around. We've flattened it in, so. Now we're just with the air. Uh, First wet trowel. And now. Making sure there's no lines and no faces anywhere. Sure that ridge doesn't come back. It's hard really because this camera it doesn't the camera doesn't focus as well as what your eyes do. Do you want to come see this ladder? Do you come see this ladder? Yeah, we'll do in a minute, mate. Yeah. It's a proper ladder, that isn't it, mate? What? I'm going to make some snow for you. Oh, thank you. Just filled all the angles. Oh, nice. Tip. Oh, nice. For a little while, we had a little issue with leaving little gaps, didn't we? But now he gets his angles filled out solid. No little gaps for the spiders. Spot on. So he's whipped down to the van and I'm up here on my own now. Now I don't want to say too much because you can fill his head, you know, make him all feel wonderful and what have you. He's done a nice job of that up to now. He's on the first wet trowel. He's got to give it another wet trowel to polish. Up to now, the wall's flat on. There's no lines in it, there's no faces. There's nothing belling out for the skirting board. All, all he's got to do is just clean these angles up a little bit, which I don't want him to do when it's too wet because he'll dig into the wall. So. Maybe after his um, his next trial, before he polishes, he can go around and just sort those angles out, you know? Cut them out nice and with the trial and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. But uh, all than that, he's done quite well. There was a bit of a step where this board was, there was a doorway here, there's a bit of a step there, and he's managed to get that filled out, and he hasn't been going across it, making a ridge, he's been going up and down, and he's managed to get that spot on. So uh, I didn't, I was in two minds where I'd have to intervene, but uh, to be fair, Makes it look awkward, but he's actually done a good job of it. I can't fault the lad, so fair play to him. Same as Kirk. From. No. Yeah. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Down. Not right the way up. Get a little bit. Show us how you're doing the top bit. Let's see how that trial action. Uh, show us how you got trial action when you're what stopping over. Like the fat. Yeah, what do you smell marshmallows? Just covering any faces as we cover. That's some cheese marshmallows for you. Oh, thank you, mate. Oh, I'll mine now. <laughs> thank you. Same again if you need just a flick a bit of water. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why don't, why don't you see the wrench for ages where the wrench used to be? Dust sheets come away from the wall here. Mm. Okay, carry on.
There was that trial action at the top. A little a bit, bit off. Yeah. It's not too wet. We need a bit of wet there, fuck it. Straight back down following the, uh, the heel of the trout. You want to keep going in the same part, oh, same again. That's it. Just overlap that heel line now. You want your toe to take. That's the heel line, so you want the toe just over it. Straight back up. Bring it in from the angle. Keeping an eye on the back. Oh. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> now he's tidied up here a bit, but this is how fast it can turn into chaos. I'm just gonna Keep everything nice and neat and keep your area where you work and clean and tidy. Make sure your dust sheets don't ruffle up. They do kick around, so you have to keep laying them back down nice and neat as you're going all the time. It's got a bit. Yep. Yeah. Put the new edge out there. Cool. <coughs> Straightened up a little bit. Let's give it the next trial now. I want to sort the angles out, okay? Clean around the door, <laughs> see the line. Get all the excess plaster off, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a trial first, mate. Over you all first. Be all that in a minute. So I just wet it up if it's going in a bit. Nice wet trial. Second wet trial out. Let's see, and he's going across this side. Comes in lovely. Uh, every, every time he hits the wall, he'll either go vertical then horizontal and then vertical and then horizontal. Never just going the same way. It's very easy to curl the wall. Still making sure you can bring it in, but you just need to make sure that we're going horizontal still. Just like that. <laughs> now under the immense pressure that he's under and in his infinite wisdom he's managed to wipe plaster just completely off his wall uh, messing around at the angles so you can show someone a hundred times how to do something but in the end they've got to learn themselves and make the mistakes themselves so I just let Kieran deal with this himself but he'd wiped some plaster completely out of the angle and now he's trying to put some back in again so that it's the wall's actually plastered and hasn't just got a, a bare bit of paint showing through <laughs> what seems to be happening here did you wipe a bit off of the cloth did you Oh. <laughs> He's fine. There we go. Right, talk us through what you're doing, Ken. So we're just cleaning the angles. How are you doing it? So first of all, make sure your trail's clean. Yeah. You're cutting with the towel, Cut making with sure the, towel. the heel doesn't touch the wall. Yeah, and you're not digging in. Yeah. You're trying to be nice and flat. And I'll come across. With your trial, don't dig in with both again. You just want to be like that. As close as you can to the wall, we're both digging, digging in the it. angle. Oh. 
Now I've shown you a way that you can clean off key, but I don't like you doing it because it digs into the wall. You can do it like this if you're careful. But are you careful? Yes. <laughs> Kieran, are you careful? Yes. Do we believe it? <laughs> he loves digging in. And then he tries Same to fill it with water, don't you? If you're gentle like me. If you're very, very gentle like Kieran, you see. Now look how gently he's going now because I'm filming him. Usually he's straight in there like a battering ram, smashing out the wall. Nice and clean. Okay, so his angles are nice and cleaned up. It's starting to go off a little bit, so he's just going to give it a nice hard polish now. What do you think? How do you feel about the wall? Are you happy with it? Yeah. Is it the best you could possibly do? One of the best. Yeah. Now ideally on the polish you shouldn't be using any water, the wall should be almost perfect and you just put a nice finish on it. But as I said to you, I'm trying to intervene as little as possible and to be fair to the lad, he's done a lovely job, I can't fault him. The wall's nice and flat, there's no bulging where the old doorway was, his angles are cleaned out. There's a little bit of staining, but it doesn't matter. There's no lumps of plaster on the, on the walls around the edges. So, all in all, you know, I'd give him a good 9 out of 10 for what he's done. You know, it's, it's definitely better than some of the jobs I've seen professionals do. So, I can't Let's knock him so where far. doorway was. No. No. It sets different colours, mate. It's on thick and thin, but you can't feel any ridges at all. It's come down absolutely lovely, that, mate. Fair play to you. I actually thought I was going to be helping you on this, but you've done a nice job of it. Nice and straight at the bottoms. All filled out. No misses, no faces, no lines. Angles cleaned out. Bit of paint come off when we clean this angle up, but that's fine. Not bad at all, that curl. Yeah. Not bad at all, that mate. Well, there we are. It's all finished. He's cleaned up and he's packed the van away. Now, the carpets are getting changed, but I had him sheet it anyway, just to get into the good habit of keeping the floor clean. Oh, and just to let you know, in case you were wondering, after the second coat, he did flatten it in before he started giving it a wet trial, but somehow, me, forget, I, I pressed the record button, or I thought I did anyway, and I was filming him, but... It wasn't switched on, so he he did, he, he, he first coated it, he flattened his first coat, he second coated it with the same gear, knocked it up a little bit, he got a little bit stressful because that stuff went off quite quick, he flattened that, and then he gave it two wet trowels and a polish, cleaned his angles up just before the polish, and the job was done. Just whilst I'm on the subject of teaching young lads to plaster, there's a few different ways of doing it, a few different approaches. <clears throat> And not every approach works for every person. Everyone's different, you see. Now, the way that worked for me was, my old fella used to give me stick. I used to get a crack. I used to get told, you're no good. You're never going to make a plasterer. You're not strong enough. You're not fast enough. You're not this. And that really spurred me on. My old fella, he wasn't being mean. He understood how my mind worked. Oh, kid, my little brother, he was completely different. He needed encouragement. Oh, you're doing really well. You know, nice job of that. Hey, that was really good. And he'd get all proud, you know, and he'd, he'd do it more. Whereas it was the opposite for me. I needed someone to tell me, you won't be able to do three walls. You won't, you're not fast enough to do it, son. And then I'd try and prove them wrong. So what I've found of Kieran is <clears throat> he needs a little bit of encouragement, but not too much because he gets lazy. And then you've got to sort of draw back and let him feel the pressure a little bit. Let him feel, 
oh, it's all going wrong, you know, and you see them get a bit stressed out when the stuff was setting in the bucket. I mean, there was a few more things said off camera, <laughs> so we can't show you that bit. But anyway, he's got to sort of feel the pressure a little bit to, to you know, oh, I, I haven't got all the time in the world here, you know. This job has to be right, and you're on a time limit. So, anyway, overall, I think it was a success. Um, bit nerve-wracking. He didn't have the easiest circumstances, so I take my hat off to the lad, because we don't normally have customers' kids in the room with us, but that young lad, young Archie, the head, he was, he was a great little lad, like, and he was determined. He was staying in there with us for the whole job. So, <laughs> he's a funny little fella, but I think at times, Kieran's trying to concentrate, and this lad's just firing question after question after question. I mean, I, I edited loads of it out, so just so to make the, the video a bit shorter, but flipping heck, he didn't give him a break. I think Kieran was ready to just give up, you know. But anyway, it, all in all, it was quite a good job. Right, so this little fella, he's a little terrorist apparently, and he's been in the house, absolutely terrorised his mum, haven't you? Hey. Guys, if you appreciated that video, and you understand how much work goes into it, and, want, and you want to support a small channel like ours, then feel free to click the link in the description, and buy us a, a nice cold pint. Got a cold one, son. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Cheers, guys. Hopefully, after seeing that video, you've realised that I am the better plasterer, and that it has been me teaching Kirk right the way through.